So we're moving right along into practice problems for lesson eight. Percent increase and decrease using equations. This is easy peasy. We've already started doing this. So here we are. We've got a pair of designer sneakers purchased for $120. Since they were purchased, their price has increased by 15%. What is the new price? Okay, so they were purchased for $120. The price is increased for, by 15%. So that means the original is our 100%. It went up, or the increase, by 15%. So we're going to add 15 to this. And that's going to equal 115%. We could also say that in decimal form, remember in decimal form, we divide that by 100, we move the decimal place back two places, and that equals 1.15. So that's my percent and my decimal. So I really have two options about how to do this. If I use my percent proportion, I can set it up that the original was 120. And we don't know what the new price is. We know that the percent is 115%, and that's always over 100. So if we cross multiply, Then we're going to be doing 100, whoops, <laughs> don't want to write in highlighter. We would like that prefer preferably in the pen. So that's going to give us 100 times x equals 120 times 115. That is going to mean we've got 100x is equal to 120 times 115 is equal to 13,800. And then, of course, we divide both sides by 100. These 100s cancel, and left with x equals $138. Let me fix that. $138. Now the other thing to do here, which is actually quicker, but maybe some people don't understand it as well, and that's okay, is to just take our original, which is 120, and then multiply that times the decimal, which is 1.15. If you put that right in your calculator, you should actually come right out with $138. So two different ways, come out with the same exact answer. Really, you can use whichever one you understand more. Okay, next, in a video game, Claire scored 50% more, 50% more than Tyler. If C is the number of points that Claire scored, okay, so I'm going to actually write myself a let statement right now. Let's C equal number of points for Claire. And T is the number of points that Tyler scored. Let T equal number of points Tyler scored. Which equations are correct? Select all that apply. Okay, so there's probably going to be more than one. So, Claire scored 50% more. So if I start with my 100, and I add 50 to it because that's 50%. That's going to give me 150%. In decimal form, I move my decimal back two places. It's going to be 1.5 or 1.50, whichever your preference is. And I know that 150% is how much of Tyler's. So therefore, I would say that C, Claire, is going to be equal to 1.5 of Tyler's. So now if I go over here and look at what I have, my choices, oh, look at that, the first one is exactly what I wrote. So A works for sure. C equals <clears throat> T plus 5 tenths. 
Well, hopefully you've gotten to the point where you know that that right there is a trick because that five tenths, that we need to do something with that other than just add it to the original. So that is wrong. C equals T plus 0 0.5 T. So remember when I have just that variable, that's like saying 1 T plus 0 0.5 T. Well, if I were to break down my 1, 0.5, I break it down into 1t and 0.5t, so it looks like c works. d is simply adding 50. The only way that would work is if Tyler had 100 points, and he's not going to have 100 points at any time, so that isn't going to work. And then this one, well, there's our distributive property. Look at that, because if I pull out my 1 and my 0.5, I'd have 1 plus 0.5. Put that in parentheses, the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.5, or 5 tenths, times t. And that's going to be equal to c. So I've got those three that are equal to, I've got a, c, and e as my answers for this one. Next, which decimal is the best estimate of the fraction 29 fortieths? Now, please use a calculator here. Don't, I know some of you want to use the long division. You can do it, but then please check your work. So if you simply put into your calculator 29 divided by 40. If you wanted to do the long division to check it, you would have to put 29 inside the box. It would be 29 divided by 40. So if you're so inclined to do that, there it is. But otherwise, and the way to remember that is to always remember, how do you read a paper? Do you start at the bottom or the top? Well, obviously, you start at the top, so it's the same thing with these fractions. You start at the top and work your way down, so that's why we have 29 first divided by 40 when we put it in our calculator. So what we're saying there is we've got 29, and we're dividing it into 40 pieces. So what you should get out, if you put that into your calculator, you should see an answer of 0 0.725, or 725 hundred thousandths, because that goes all the way out to the thousandths place. Now, if we look at all of our answers, they're all in the tenths place. So that simply means we need to round this. So I know I need to round it to my tenths place. I'm going to round it to the 7. So that means I need to look at my 2, and that 2 is less than 5. So therefore, I'm going to round it down. Rounding down simply means I leave it the same stays the same. So therefore, if I rounded it, it's going to be 0 0.7. And look at that. There it is. There's my answer, C.